the dynamic duo. Just like Batman and Robin, I will show you two strategies that will help you solve the colored cells and defeat this puzzle for the 2024 Sudoku Grand Prix. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. With that, it's solving time. Look here in block seven. Where can a one be? You got a one here in column one, a one in column three, you have this one in row nine. Only one place for a one there, so we can mark that as a hidden single. And now, with this one and the one here in block eight, there's only two places for a one in block two. So I'm going to mark that using what I call Snyder notation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have two possibilities for a candidate, mark it. In case we solve one of these, we can solve the other cell right away. And then let's look now, where else can we put these ones? We got a one here and a one here. So Snyder ones in block five. And then with these two ones, we have Snyder ones in block nine. All right, the twos, you see you have a two here in row four, a two in row five, and a two in column seven and in column eight. So the only place for two in block six is right there. And then with this two and this two, we have two possibilities for two in block seven. So we can mark that with Snyder twos. Greetings, friend. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you to Smart Hobbies. Subscribe if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. So I'm about to get to what I call the dynamic duo of Sudoku strategies. Let's look at the threes here. You have a three in row two and three. And you have this three in block six. So the only place for a three in block two is right here, which displaces that Snyder one. And then we can displace the Snyder one and solve for a one right there. So the Snyder notation helped us solve those ones very quickly. And now we can use these two threes and this three to solve for three in block four. And I'm going to get into what I call the Batman in action. So the first pair of Batman, this strategy is very helpful in doing championship Sudoku puzzles. Here's how we set it up. We have the threes here in rows, columns one and two. So only two possibilities for three in block seven. And then if you look here, you have threes here in columns eight, nine, only two possibilities for three in block nine. Well, you'll notice is that the threes are limited to row seven and eight in block seven and block nine. And I'll color this in orange. This makes what we call a mini X-wing. So a three's got to either be here and here or here and here. And whenever we have this situation in this mini X-wing, that means it forces a three to row nine here in block eight. And so if there's three possibilities put to three, that'd be a claiming triple. If there's two possibilities, like if a three could be in one of these two spots, we could call this a claiming pair. And you'll see that the three covers this spot. So we only have one possibility to put a three now. So that is a claiming single or a hidden single. And we can put the three there. So this is my Batman strategy. It's uh, the claiming, claiming candidates, okay? And usually this mini X-Wing will give you a clue about those claiming candidates and you will be able to get a solve there. Give me a thumbs up if you found this three in block eight and let me know how you did overall in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So we're gonna move on now to the fives. All right, you got a five here and here, two possibilities for a five. So we'll mark those Snyder fives. And then in block four, we have this five and this five two possibilities for a five as well. All right, so I showed you Batman. You know, we're gonna use another version of Batman to get one of these colored cells and the Robin's coming up here very quickly. All right, so let's look at where we can put a seven in block eight now. You got a seven here and these two sevens. The only place left for seven is right there. And then with this seven and these two sevens, we can solve for seven in block nine. And with these two sevens and this seven, we can solve for seven right here with these two sevens in this seven we can solve for sevens or not solve we can put snyder marks for sevens in block four and then in block one um and you'll notice that these sevens do form a mini x-wing right they're both in columns two and three in blocks one and four but they don't really help us much because you already have a seven in column one but if we solve one of these cells we'll be able to solve the other seven right away Okay, let's look at the eights. Uh, you have these two eights. 
means that we have two possibilities for an eight in block seven. And if you look in block five, this eight coming up allows only two places for an eight in block five. And this is not just Snyder eights, but it's also a pointing pair because now the eights are in row five in block five. That means an eight can't be anywhere else in row five outside the block. So you cannot have an eight here anymore. You can't have an eight there. You can't have an eight there. And because of this eight, you couldn't have an eight right there. That's going to be important a little bit later on in the solve to help us figure out what's in that green cell. The other thing it does is now the eights are a pointing pair coming across here. And you have this eight right here. So the eights are limited to these two spots in block six, which makes it another pointing pair. And so now eights can't be here or here in the column. And they already couldn't be in these spots because of the eight in block nine. All right. For the nine, we have these two nines here. Only one place for a nine in block eight. And now it's time to show you where Robin is, all right? So the first part of the dynamic duo is a claiming candidates. This one you'll see quite a bit. You notice how you have a nine in row seven, nine in row nine. Where can the nine be here in block nine? It's gotta be in these two cells, right? Well, you notice the ones, Snyder ones, are in the same two cells as the Snyder nines. When you're at this situation, this is a hidden pair. The one and nine have to be somewhere in block nine, but they're limited to the same two cells. And so we can mark that as a hidden pair and block out every other candidate. And you notice there's a three right there. Well, that three cannot be a possibility. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to fit the one and nine in the block. And so we can immediately solve this cell for a three. I cover Batman and Robin, I mean, claiming and hidden pairs in my Sudoku solving guide. Click on the pinned comment to download it for free. Now with this three, we can displace three in block seven and solve this cell for a three. And now we're gonna set ourselves up to start solving these colored cells. We're gonna need Batman and Robin once again, and I'll show you when that happens. What's remaining here in block nine? We have two cells left that are not filled in. The one and nine have to take those two that we marked. So the five and six, have to be in these two cells. They're a naked pair and they're also a pointing pair. So now five and six cannot be anywhere else along column eight. So this cell cannot be a five anymore. Otherwise, you'd have no place to put a five down here. So we can displace that Snyder five and solve this cell for a five. If you look across row eight, we have the one and nine there. We already have a two, three, six, seven, eight. So these two cells have to be in a four and a five. In Championship Sudoku, it is helpful to mark naked pairs like this four, five, or hidden pairs like this one, nine. Uh, you'll see uh, that you're very close to solving the cell. And by keeping track of these pairs, it will help you get to those solves a little bit quicker. Okay, what can we do with the ones? You have these two ones here. So the ones are limited to column seven and nine here in block six. And now this is where we're going to use Batman again, okay? So you notice that a one and nine, or the ones, are limited to column seven and nine here in block nine. And the ones are also limited to rows, excuse me, column seven and nine here in block six. So we have another mini X-wing, okay? And I'll color that. So the ones got to be here and here, or here and here for those two columns which means the ones are forced into one of these cells in block three. And this is gonna help us solve our blue cell, right? Because you see that a one can't be here because of this one, can't be here because there's already a seven. So this cell has to be a one. So Batman helped us solve this one up there. Thank you so much, Caped Crusader. And after solving that, now we have the one up here, we have the five right here, and then we can move on and let's look at some of these other candidates, okay? Where can the twos be down here in block eight? You have a two right there. So there's only two possibilities for a two and they're another pointing pair, okay? We've got a pointing pair coming up. So that means the two can't be here. This two, it can't be here because that two cannot be there. So we have two possibilities for two in block two. And then with the sixes, this six coming up makes another pointing pair of sixes in block Two. And so sixes can't be in these spots anymore and they can't be in those spots anymore. But the sixes are going to give us the key to solving this cell right there. It's time to see Robin in action again to help us solve the green cell. So what could the green cell be right now? 
Can't be a one, two, or a three. Could be a four. Can't be a five. It could be a six. Can't be a seven. And you remember the pointing pair of eights, it can't be an eight either. And then it cannot be a nine. So this could be a four or six. Can we figure out if this is gonna be a four or a six? And the answer is yes. See how this six cuts across right here? And you remember there you have a five, six right there. So this five, six acts as a pointing pair, not just a naked pair. And so a six cannot be here. It can't be here, here because of this six. So we got two possibilities for a six in block six. And whenever you see these Snyder marks on top of each other like that, you know that's a hidden pair. So we have a hidden pair, one and six, and the hidden pair acts as a pointing pair. Six has to be somewhere in block six. It can only be in one of these two spots. So we know we can remove the six from this cell and solve it for a four. And if you like these tips, consider buying me a coffee or click on the super thanks here in YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. Let's move on here. Now that we solved this four, we're gonna four be in block five. It can only be right there which gives us a five eight in block five as a naked pair. And so there's only one possibility left right there. This has to be a nine displacing our Snyder five. Okay, great. And then we see we need an eight and a nine. We know the eight can only be in this cell of the two cells in block six. So that's gotta be your eight and that's gotta be your nine. And now we have the one six in these two cells. We're just missing a four. So we can add a four right there. You have the five six here. You have a one, two, three, four, seven, eight. We know this cell has to be a nine as well. And now with this nine, we can disambiguate down here in block nine. That's gotta be a one. That's gotta be a nine. With this one, that's gotta be a six. That's gotta be a one. All right, we go up here, we have a full house. Let's see how far we can get with these solves now that we've used Batman and Robin, the dynamic new, to get those colored cells. Well, this cell up here has to be a four. It's the only digit remaining in that block. This is a little tricky. Look right here, what could this cell be now? Can't be a one, can't be a three, can't be a four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. This is a naked single two. Very helpful, you gotta find that naked single two. That gave me some trouble when I did the Sudoku Grand Prix uh, for real. All right, and that's gonna displace the Snyder two. And now we're gonna be able to do a little bit more solving here, right? Because we're looking for, we got one, two, three, four, Seven, nine, we need five, six, eight. Well, the six covers these two cells. So this has to be your six, and that's gonna be your five. All right, and so we know we need a five and an eight. I got a five right there. So that's gotta be your five, and that's gonna be your eight, meaning this is a four, and that's gonna be your five. All right, we can disambiguate the eight and five here. Always target and look for cleaning up any marks you made. It makes it for a much cleaner and easier uh, grid to work through, right? You want to get rid of that clutter as much as possible. What do we need in these two cells? Looks like a four and a six. I got my four here. I'm going to pull it down from block five. So there's your four, there's your six. This place in the Snyder six, we can solve this for a six, and we know since this is a full house, we can solve this cell for a five. Look over here in block three. I don't see a six. So with this six, I mean this has to be a six, and that's going to be your eight. And then we can look and take these two sixes and this six, solve for six right here. And now we're gonna look here in block four and use what I call my neat naked triple trick. We have a one, two, three, four, five, and a nine. We need a six, seven, and eight. Well, I see a six and eight in this column, and I see the six repeated right here. Whenever you have two of the three candidates in one column and then one of those is repeating another, you can solve all three. Because then this has to be your six, that has to be your seven, and the only cell left has to be an eight. And then with those two eights and this eight, you can solve for an eight right there, solve for an eight up here in block two. All right, what else do we need? Looks like we have a full house across row one, and so I don't see a nine yet, so we can solve this for a nine. I don't see a seven in column three, and I have seven marks, so I'll get rid of that seven. Remove that digit, it looks like we need a four to finish column two. All right, and then with these two fours, this has to be a four, this place in that Snyder two, and then our last digit is a two. Watch the dynamic duo in action again in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.